Does the vehicle have the proper battery? The capacity of the battery must meet minimum requirements stated by the vehicle manufacturer. Check for physical damage to the battery. A cracked case, cracked cell cover, or sealing compound defect requires battery replacement. Check for loose side or top terminals. When a post is loose in the battery, the battery should be replaced. Stripped side terminal threads or battery terminal bolts should be corrected before load testing. Dirt and acid should be removed from the top of the battery to avoid possible current drain. Touching the external voltmeter leads onto a dirty acid residue battery top will show a voltage reading. As you can see, the voltmeter reads over 5 volts, indicating surface drain across the battery top. Also, make sure that the battery hold down is secure. If the battery is loose in the engine compartment, physical damage can result. Check for low electrolyte level and correct if the battery has removable vent caps. Make sure that the terminals are not loose on the battery. A common fault is corroded battery terminals. Service them prior to load testing the battery. A bad electrical connection will prevent accurate load testing. Use a battery terminal tool to clean the posts and the cable ends. Batteries must meet a 65% minimum state of charge before they can be accurately load tested. Since most batteries have non-removable vent caps, preventing the use of a hydrometer, the open circuit voltage is the most common method for checking the state of charge. For 12 volt batteries, a voltage reading of 12.4 volts or higher indicates at least 65% of full charge. Charge the battery if needed. It's not recommended to load test a battery that is not at least 65% of full charge. Connect the load lead securely to the battery terminals, red to positive and black to negative. Make sure you have a good electrical connection. Determine the battery load test specifications. The proper load to apply may be stated on the label by the battery manufacturer. Load test the battery to one half of the battery's cold cranking amperage rating or three times the ampere hour rating of a 12 volt battery. Rotate the load test knob until the load amps display reads the proper test load to apply to the specific battery. Make sure that 15 seconds is displayed on the timer. Use the arrow keys to change this time if needed. Press the battery load test start key. After a particular load value is selected with the load set knob, the automatic load control attempts to maintain that load by adjusting and readjusting to the selected value. The display freeze and the load is released when the timer display reaches zero. Compare the voltage reading to the corrected reading for temperature minimum voltage requirements given in your user's manual. For example, voltage should not drop below 9.6 volts at 70 degrees or 8.5 volts at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. If the battery does not meet the minimum voltage requirements, press the freeze live key and monitor the battery voltage for the next 5 to 10 minutes and if voltage recovers to 12.4 volts, replace the battery. If it does not recover, recharge load test.